Hello, Sam from Sound on Sound magazine here. I'm at the AES convention in New York with Ricardo from Sound Particles. Hello, Ricardo. Hi, how are you? I'm good, and you? Yeah, I'm good. Being a great, being in a great affair here. Excellent. Yeah. So we've seen quite a lot of interesting products focused on 3D audio, sound design, that kind of thing. And Sound Particles is very much one of those. Tell us a little bit about it. So Sound Particles is basically a native 3D audio software that utilizes the power of computer graphics but applied to audio. So basically you have a 3D workspace where you put up particle systems where you can then import audio files for that particle system and the software will randomly select one of those audio files to each and every particle around it. So not only can you import many audios, many audio files, you can also select how many particles you want to that system so you have like a sense of density and also immersiveness into your scene. So then you can add like audio modifiers, so basically giving audio changes between pitches and delays and also gains, so every particle will sound different from each other even more, so two particles playing the same sample will be different in terms of audio, mm -hmm. and also give them movement, uh, random movements, so one particle moves around different than the others in terms of velocity and direction. All right, and then having the particle systems uh, placing up, you just create the virtual microphone, which can be stereo, 5.1, 7.1, or any format that you need, and then just render it all up for your project, and then export it, and then you have everything ready for your project that you're working on. So if, for example, you had a big library of recordings of human speech, you could then assign lots of different speech particles and you could have a virtual crowd that you you could then move around in and it, exactly so we have we c you can also shape the f the the particle system that you're working for so for example you can have like a cylinder surface so like a sort of a stadium and then you can assign like 100 audio files from speech patterns or crowds and then p the sound particles will select randomly those audio files for those particles, and then surrounding the microphone, you will have that end experience being right like a real crowd, like a real arena, for example. And although it seems like using a lot of particles will be like a huge mess at the end, it won't be because Sound Particles has a normalization engine, so it really normalizes everything to not be distorted. And also because Particles are not really close. Even if you use like particles within the microphone, so the microphone will be in the middle of the field, not many particles are really close to the microphone. So you'd have also the dense, the sense of close, the of close sounds, but also the 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 far away, the further away sounds will also be taken into the final render. So yeah. So the existing version one of Sound Particles is already fairly widely used within film and television and uh, game production. But you're about to launch version two. Yeah. Um, so what's new in version two? So version two will be launched within a few weeks from now and we'll have a lot of new features, especially three one, three new ones. So the first one is the CGI integration. So basically it will allow you to bring your animation file, like an FBX file, and then all the 3D models and cameras positions, motions, orientations will be taken directly and 100% to sound particles. So basically all the camera work, all the motions of the models and every Doppler, every attenuation will be taken into consideration by sound particles. And not only could you, could you import the, those metadata, but also uh, specifically pinpoint where you want particles within the ma with the 3D meshes. So the other new feature is the GPU processing. So you can n not only use sound, uh, the CPU to process things in sound particles, but also your graphics cards, or use only the graphics cards if needed. So you basically go there, select GPU to process everything, and then allows you to even process things more fast, faster and faster than before. And the, the final one is the real-time rendering. So up, to, um, but, up until now, you would need to render everything, even if a small change would be to uh, happen in Sound, in, in sound Particles 1.0. But with, with the real-time real rendering, if you don't go like too much crazy in terms of number of particles, you would be able to listen in real-time immediately after you make a change within the project itself. Oh, fascinating stuff. Yeah. So uh, what sort of price point does this product come in at? So the, the Sound Particles 2.0 will change from a perpetual one-time 
uh, license uh, acquirement to a uh, subscri subscription subscription model. I'm sorry, and we'll have so the base model, the standard version, will be like around twenty dollars. All right, and the pro mode, which have which will have all of those new features. Uh, will be around ninety dollars. So, so we are still pinpointing which what will be the price tags, but it will be around those price tags. Fantastic! Thank you, Ricardo. Oh, thank you.